Grand Rising. A beautiful, loving, happy new year to you. 9-11 is the Ethiopian New Year. A beginning of a new cycle. And even though it's 2019 by the Gregorian calendar of the Roman Pantheon, it is still 2012 in the Ethiopic Jewish Coptic Pantheon. Without further ado, I'm going to go directly into the reading, the collective reading for the new energies of this cycle. There's nothing really new under the sun and the moon. As it is in the heavens, so must it also be here on the earth. Sun and moon represents the ignition codes, the lighting codes, the overlighting codes of Sol Omun, Solomonic Wisdom. This signifies the emergence of abilities, intuitive abilities, innate abilities, the emergence of divine knowledge, cosmic infusion. There was a signal or a sign and wonders that says when you can perceive signs and wonders in the heavens and signs and wonders on the earth, then you know there is a new time. The coming of the Christ consciousness symbolized by the pouring of the heavenly waters infused into the earthly plane, the infusion of spirit into matter. Oshumari is often depicted as the being that rises from the water to walk on land. And John saw in his vision a man standing by the sea. In one hand he raises to the heavens and the other he opens a little book and declares the abundance of heaven on earth, signifying a new era. Your scripture says, Yeshua says, how will you know when you have returned? Look for the signs of someone bearing a picture of water some scripture says it's an old man some scripture says it's a young woman we're in the season of virgo the maiden voyage earth is the cradle of life through many cycles she has gone through now in the balance the emerging of the earth knowledge the innate wisdom the huda those hewed from the tree of life you a holy oak a holy promise a holy covenant of the rainbow. Through the symbols you see the Ram, era of war, Mars, war, Aries, Diana, in Diana. You see the serpent, the dragon, rising out of the sea like a goat, e-goat. A goat, August, means regal, loyal, lion, lion, Water lion, Merlin, Merlines, lineages of the water, Nomos, Nagas, Negus, Sibyls, Decibels, Sound, Wisdom, Age of Pisces, the fish, and the dove, Obatala, the Most High, Oloron, many names for the same great spirit that dwells within man in kindness. Be ye wise as the serpent, the Oroboros wrapped around the dragon's line, the ley lines, the www, the etheric lines, the information, the age of information has come. The prophecies that says, look out for the spider web circling the planet, www, World Wide Web. The prophecies are coming to pass. There must be a union, a reunion, equity must be restored in the mind hemisphere, hermosphere, or left and right hemispheres of the brain. Logic, ego mind, ego-based decision thinking, creative wisdom, feminine mind, left and right brain must dance together. You see their legs forming a three, a three-legged race. This is the symbol of Pan, also Pangea, Panador, Pandora. When she was violated, the seven deadly sins emerged but upon reunion and sanctification and resolution initiation 
the seven deadly sins, the seven curses, the seven chakras, the seven key principles on the pyramid of ascension, Maslow's hierarchy of needs, from physiological baseline needs, food, clothes, shelter, reproduction. You walk into the esteem, become awareness, become aware. Aware instead of the war in you, aware in you, a war in you. The dark night of the soul, the initiation, The baptism of spirit, the kundalini energy, the life force energy, the pranic energy that comes from the crown of the head all the way to the feet and rises from the feet, rises from defeat in your defeat. Defeat in your surrender. Now you are a vessel that source can mend and render new. He gives his gift as offering to the sea, giving back to the spirit of the sea that which belongs to the sea, the great fisherman. Wisdom, fee, shamanic wisdom, indigenous wisdom returns. The river flows through the barren lands amid two banks, yet she flows freely. She emerges as a daughter goes to meet her mother, the wisdom of karma. Oshun goes to Yamaya, Gem of Ya, Gematria, the sea, the eye, the wisdom return. The sacred wisdom of the feminine emerges again, born anew, dressed, birthed, new consciousness. As she now becomes the queen of the sea, here is a message from water. Learn to overcome your duality. The two seahorses, like land horses, black and white. One is volatile, one is sedate, yet both must ride together. In the shamanic culture, it tells you, we have two wolves, a white, a black one. One evil, one good. Which one survives? The one you feed the most. What if you feed them equity and you discipline them and you train the left and right brain, the masculine energy, the feminine energy to work together? The mothership moves the craft. She is in her clam, her shell is open, but it's also her carriage because she's dressed for marriage. We have lost many through fires, through great tribulation, through floods, through drought. The spirit of the water, the mermaid and the undines, the water elemental that flows within your vessels and arteries, the water elemental that flows above the land as rivers and streams as tributaries. They merge to form one river that goes to the sea. All rivers must go to the sea. Just as your vein and your arteries, they flow through the ventricles of your heart, oxygenated, rich in carbon, yet a processor, a receptor, a recycler of energies to be or not to be. Shango, Archangel Mikael, the cosmic energy, the axe, the ashe, the power, the will, no longer relying on the sight of the two eyes, but relying on the inner wisdom of the unified mind. The axe, the great magistrate, the great adjudicator, the teacher, the reacher, the wise man, the healer, coming together, come together right now over, over Gaia, over this earth, come together, Terra Nova, to renew the new era of life. As you can see, abundance comes in many forms. Abundance comes in wealth. Abundance comes in prosperity. Abundance comes in healing. Abundance comes in knowledge, intuition. Be you taught by spirit. Spirit has to embolden itself in form. The aim of spirit is to transform matter. Ormus, the golden nectar, the golden elixir that is secreted in the brain, transform us from the sacred root all the way the tree grows upwards to emerge as the soul tree that crowns your head. The wisdom of heaven 
adorns your crown. Put on the helmet. Put on the breastplate of righteousness. Put on the ascension frequencies. Wisdom must be transformed into matter. Matter must become spiritual. Though you were born in the physical, yet should you become spiritual. Though you were born in mortal flesh, mortal form, yet you must pick up your immortality. This is the resurrection. This is the renewal of the mind, the transformation of the body. Be ye transformed by the word manifested in your flesh. Manna from heaven, festival and joy. I say the liberation, freedom of the mind, freedom of the soul. It is the soul's energy to emit its light, its fusion, its power into the flesh form to animate or reanimate matter. And as you are now remembering, I hope you get your vessels ready to receive the in-pouring of spirit, the in-voice of spirit, the in-sentience of spirit. The temple must be made ready so you can hear. Those with ears to hear will hear. Those with eyes to see will know. Let the Spirit be one with you. Be one in the Spirit. Many of you have taken what was spiritual and tried to translate it literal. Your alliterations of the words, the sacred information from the ancestors, from the indigenous people, have been co-opted, corrupted, but yet the virtue must remain. All had an aspect of the truth. But when the truth manifests in your ka, your soul, in your ba, your mind and body, and the water of heaven unifies, merkaba, you realize that this is the instrument, this is the cross, this is the place where spirit inhabits form. I hope this message is not lost on you. I hope that this message will ignite inside of you so that you understand the power and the wisdom and the glory of the chi, the energy, the kinetic weaver, the oneness, the stimulation of your body, the quickening of your flesh. Shikana glory, the kinetic energy of the adornment of the eye, the Adon eye. Though you abandon for a time, now yet you must refine. This is a process of refinement. Be ye transformed by the renewal of your mind. Remove the graven images from your icons, your memory. Remove the images of anything in the heavens above, in the earth beneath, or in the waters under the earth. Understand where you are, the man, the woman in the mirror. The eyes are the windows for the soul. See, mira, look, miracle. Kamara. It records everything in the cells of your body. You are the ambassadors of all of your lineages and ancestors here to witness the transformation of the spirit returning into form. Let heaven come down in you and let the glory of the heavens fill your soul. Heaven come down and glory fills your soul. When the eye be single, therefore the entirety of your being will become filaments of light. When the eye be single, then the body shall be filled with light. Sacred Bodhisattvas, sacred oneness of those who are the remnants who remain hear the voice that entreats you and please remember your name my name our name we are love i am love and so are you love is the spirit that which creates it needs mother and father matter and pater formulate inside of every cell love is 
love is, as it is in the above, so here below. Like nine and six, we combine to form the sacred union here beyond space, beyond time. Time is over. Time is over. Blow ye the shofar. Blow the trumpet in Zion. Awaken those that are asleep or in slumber. Sound the alarm in Zion. The time is at an. Over is time. Time is over. At the end of time, all shall be revealed. Revelations. Welcome to the new era. Happy New Year. Happy 2012. It has only just begun. The raising. Ra is singing. It has only just begun. Heartaches will mend. Promises, covenants will be kept. Great chains will be broken from your hearts, from your mind. Open up your heart to transcend. Detoxify your body and mend. If you need help, send me a message. Class is in session. Welcome to the University of Earth. Welcome to the school where souls are seated in seminary, in semination, to bring life, to bring rebirth. Though you may have felt death, dying, dead inside, yet you shall live. We are the resurrection and the life. Alpha, Alif, Omega, Libra, free at last, free at last, a menu, a directive, T, you see, I see, the parlance of the voice invoca, a new celestial, a new renew, Immanuel decree, declara, declaration in the universal codex of time space matter we are here as the emergence emerge and see 911 emergency come back to the center find your way om mani padme om Rastafari, Selah, I say, I.